This is a tutorial to take a Ricoh Theta 360 degree image and quickly drop it into a Unity Skybox. And you can use it as a background to manipulate a 3D environment. This is a very simple way to add augmented reality features to your 360 degree images from the Ricoh Theta. It's fairly simple. Um, and then you can drop pre-made Unity assets into your, your image. For example, you can walk, you can move around, you can get to the edge of the surface that you're walking on and then drop down and then you don't see that surface anymore. It also has like the wall. Create a new project in Unity. From a completely new Unity project, import the Characters Assets package. It uh, just comes with Unity. In the Character Assets package, we're just going to use the FPS controller to allow us to move around the 360 degree image from um, inside of the sphere. After you import the character assets, go into the characters folder, look into prefabs, you'll see a FPS controller. Grab the FPS controller and drag it onto your main scene hierarchy. Save the scene. Select the Theta 360 image that you want to use for your background. I'm going to use a shot that I took at the local high school, Palo Alto High School. Use your mouse to drag the 360 degree image from your theta onto the assets area. If you click on it, it'll look like an equi rectangular image. Double click slowly on the image name to change the image to something meaningful. I'm calling my image Classroom. Next step is optional, but I'm going to create a subfolder called Images and drop my image into there. Click on the image to access the image inspector. Change the texture to cube map. Click apply. Under Game Object, create a 3D plane and resize the plane to make it bigger. Create a new folder to hold your materials. Inside the folder, create a new material. I'm 
I'm going to name my new material Background Classroom. Select the new material. Under the inspector, select the shader. Under the shader, select skybox and select cube map. Take your image cube map and drop it onto the shader of your material. Drop the new material onto your scene. Press play, you can now navigate your scene. Remember, the navigation is possible because I've already imported the FPS controller. You can now add additional 3D objects onto your scene, onto the plane, and create an augmented reality scene that meshes in very well with the background 360 degree image from the Theta.